Here we're going to look at a nice and quick number theory problem. So we want to determine if there is a solution to the following equation over the natural numbers, in other words, the positive integers. So we've got a to the b is equal to 2026 to the n plus 386, where we have this condition that b is bigger than or equal to 2. You might say, well, why do we have to have that condition that b is bigger than or equal to 2? Well, if b is equal to 1, there is very, very clearly an infinite family of solutions. You could just take a to be whatever it is on the right-hand side. Okay, and we're going to use the notion of congruence modulo n. Let's recall that a is congruent to b mod n if and only if n divides b minus a. In other words, a and b have the same remainder when dividing by n. And the nice thing about working modulo n is that for certain values of n, there are only certain numbers that are perfect squares. And that's exactly what we use here. So what we'll do is reduce this equation modulo 27 and modulo 5 and see that any sort of solution that we would have would create some sort of inconsistency. Okay, so let's maybe go ahead and reduce modulo 27 first. And I'm going to use the following fact, and that is that 2026 is congruent to 1 mod 27. So you can check that, and you would check that by dividing 27 into 2026 and noticing that you get a remainder of 1. Furthermore, 386 is congruent to 8 mod 27. Again, you would figure that out by dividing 27 into 386 and getting a remainder of 8. So that means our equation turns into the following thing. So we've got a to the b will be congruent to 1 to the n plus 8, which is congruent to 9 modulo 27. Okay, good. But now we want to make the claim that this means that b has to be equal to 2. So let's do that. So claim b equals 2. Now there's a bunch of different ways to prove this claim. Maybe someone could post an elementary one in the comments, but since I know a little bit of group theory, it's kind of hard for me to unsee this method. So let's jump into it. So we know that the group of units modulo 27 is generated by the number 2. So you guys can check that, but that's not too hard to check. So we can write that like this. So the group of units mod 27 is generated by the number 2. And furthermore, 9 will not be here because 9 is not relatively prime to 27. So let's recall that the group of units mod 27, that's going to be everything that's relatively prime to 27. That forms a group under modular multiplication. So what that tells us is that 9 must be a power of some number which is not relatively prime to 27. So that leaves us with 9 equals 3 to the b, 9 equals 6 to the b, 9 equals 9 to the b, well that's pretty clear, uh, 9 equals 12 to the b, and then finally 9 equals 15 to the b, and 9 equals 18 to the b power. So at this point what we need to do is find repeated powers of these bases and see when we can achieve 9. We'll notice b has to be bigger than or equal to 2 so we actually don't have to go too far. So 3 squared is obviously equal to 9. That works. But 3 cubed is equal to 0. Well, that's because it's 27, and 27 is congruent to 0 mod 27. So this would tell us that b has to be equal to 2. Okay, well, let's move on to this case, and notice that if b is equal to 3 in this case, well, we have 2 to the 3 times 3 to the 3, given the fact that 6 factors is 2 times 3, but that's also going to be equal to 0. And obviously it goes without saying that any power larger than 3 will also give us 0, kind of because the 3 is built in. And in fact, this kind of setup is going to happen for all of these numbers because all of these numbers have a multiple of 3 inside of them. So when you raise them to an exponent that is bigger than or equal to 3, you will get something that is congruent to 0 mod 27.
which leaves us with only two possibilities. B is one or two, but we started off assuming that B is bigger than or equal to two. So that means B has to be equal to two. Okay, so let's maybe get rid of this and we'll move on to the next part. So far we've determined that if we have a solution to our goal equation, then a to the b is congruent to 9 modulo 27. Then on the last board we argued that that meant that b had to be equal to 2. So that kind of gives us a new goal. And that new goal is to see if we have a solution to a squared is equal to 20, 26 to the n plus 386. Now we'll use a similar trick to what we did before, but instead of working in the group of units, we'll be looking at what are some possible perfect squares modulo something. So what you wanna do is reduce this modulo some number so that this exponent of 2026 is pretty simple. Maybe it could be equal to one. So looking at that, there are probably a lot of different choices, but this is one more than a multiple of five, so that's probably a good place to start. So let's maybe write that we notice that this means that a squared is gonna be congruent to one to the n plus, well, we can reduce that mod five as well, so that's plus one, which is congruent to two modulo five. So that means that we really, at this point, need to solve the congruence, a squared is congruent to two mod five. If that has a solution, then perhaps we can construct a solution to our equation. If this does not have a solution, then that means we never had a solution to our equation. So since we only need to really look at five numbers modulo five, zero through four, we can just do this by making a chart. So let's do that. We'll look at a, and then here is a squared mod five, and see that we never end up achieving the number two. So like I said, we need to plug in zero, one, two, three, four. So zero squared is clearly zero mod five, one squared is one mod five, two squared is four mod five, three squared is nine, which is also four mod five, four squared is 16, which is one mod five. So what we want to notice is that none of these are equal to two, which means there is no solution to this congruence. The actual technical term for this is that two is not a quadratic residue modulo five. When I taught my number theory class, I made a whole playlist on quadratic residues if you guys want to check that out. And that's a good place to stop.